Hi there, mommies. For all of you who are visiting my channel for the first time, I'm the Banjana, mother of a almost two-year-old boy. And welcome to my channel. This is my second vlog. I'm pretty new to this. So today I'll be discussing a very hot debated topic that is whether or not to use disposable diapers. I'll be sharing my experiences with you which might help you make your decision a little easier. So since your little one was born or even before that you've heard whether to use disposable diapers, how harmful it might be or whether to use cloth diapers or not. Uh, let me share my experience now cloth diapers compared to disposable diapers yes they are much more economic however if you are ready and if you are ready to uh, change them very frequently you might as well give it a try and see what works out best for you however in my experience i have seen that uh, for me disposable diaper has worked much better I'll tell you why. For cloth diaper, every time your little one soils the diaper, even when he pees, uh, the whole, his clothes would get wet, the bed would get wet, and uh, eventually they wake up and start crying. So even if he pees once, you would have to change the entire setup. For disposable diapers, that's not so. It ha it's much more absorbent and it does not stick to the child's body as a wet thing. It, the top layer of it dries up pretty fast I have seen uh, so yes uh, uh, for two to three hours or maximum of four hours you are you can be rest assured you would not have to change it unless your child poops if your child poops then you'll have to change it immediately now my child first used a diaper as soon as he was born in the hospital itself they put on a diaper for him. and this is how it was this is a newborn baby diaper it's not pan diapers it has tabs this part you lay it down you put your son or daughter with her back over here this part goes up and then this part this part you can see there is a sticky end there there is a sticky end we need to take this off and it goes right over again same for this part sticky end take it off it goes right over it might be tighter you have to adjust this as per the waist of your baby and yeah now, this one is from Pampers. I have always used nothing but Pampers. There are different brands like Huggies and Nami Poco Pans. I haven't used any of them because I have seen since from day one he has already used Pampers and Pampers was uh, suggested by my doctor. So I stuck to that brand. This, is, this actually works very well to the time your child can actually sit up or for that matter stand up. In my experience, uh, Try and keep at least one finger gap, like at least this much gap between your child's back and the diaper or between between your child's waist and the diaper so that it does not rub against their skin so frequently. They tend to have very sensitive skin, so we would try to protect it as much as possible. So yeah, this is it. From here goes the legs and this is how it basically looks. This worked very well for me. Uh, once I came back home, I switched to cloth diapers because uh, my mom, my mother-in-law, they all suggested cloth diapers. I didn't want to take much chances. So I moved to cloth, cloth diaper. Uh, my baby was colic from day one. Uh, he had too much of gastric pain every time he ate. And... It was very, very painful to watch. He could not sleep uh, until he, he could be pacified. His pain reduced. I saw that he, anyways, it took time for him to calm himself and go off to sleep. On top of that, as soon as he maybe falls asleep, if he pees, all his clothes are wet, his bed is wet and he wakes up crying again. 
so i'll have to change everything and by the time you know every or any baby has to be fed every 3 hours so by the time he can fall asleep again he'll again have to be woken up to be fed because as my doctor said you cannot feed a sleeping baby you have have to wake him up every single time so yes he was not getting enough sleep and he started becoming a little cranky so because of all that i switched on to disposable diapers and it was a life saver for me my baby could sleep at least till his next feeding because uh, if he poops then yes i had to change him and anyways he woke up while pooping so yes uh, other than that i did not have to change that frequently so every time he fed i changed and he went off to sleep so it was much much more easier now once he could stand up by himself i moved to pan diapers i stuck to pampers uh so yeah uh pampers the normal pan diapers they had i did not quite like their feel it was more plasticky if you see this one see how it sounds it sounds more plasticky now i found something online first which is the premier diaper the packet looks like this it's not the green one it's this one i use the big bag so you know this i am mostly keeping my baby on disposable diapers still now i'm trying to potty train him but it's taking a bit of time because any baby who is already on diaper would take time to transition into a uh, potty training so yeah this is the one which i use this is the premium care this is a little costlier than the normal pan diapers now this is how it is i'll show you this is the front it says front now if you see it's more like cloth and it's so smooth and the elastic is also very good compared to the normal pan diapers now price yes there is a huge difference but i feel it was worth the investment for uh, the normal pampers large diapers uh, 68 pieces it's 949 rupees and for premier pan diapers 58 pieces is 1199 rupees yes that much is the difference however i felt this one was much better if you see the material everything is much better it's such soft material so yes i stuck to this if i can't use if i am not comfortable using cloth diapers this is very near to a cloth one but yes it, it has it does have the same chemicals and everything as a diaper so this is how the diaper is it's very easy to dispose as well there is a tab you just have to tear the sides there these two sides you will have to tear let me show this to you i'll tear this side i'll tear that side so the diaper is open so if you have poop also you can safely have that you need to cover this one to roll this part and this part goes above now you see there is a small blue tab over here this comes off like that so all you need to do is wrap it around and it's secure see how secure it is so it's easier to dispose as well this tab it's not there in the normal pants diapers so yeah that's another benefit for these premier ones and i have been using premier pants ever since i found them however i still suggest that if you are uh, traveling anywhere please do carry a diaper disposal bag because you would not want to throw it just like that it's it's just too dirty so you would want to secure this inside the diaper disposal bag tie tie a knot and then throw it and you will have to carry spare diapers at least two when you are traveling even if it's for one hour to the shopping mall carry a couple of extra diapers because you don't know when a mis mishap might happen or if your diaper is malfunctioning which might happen because they are produced in bulk so one of them might not be working properly and you do not want your son or daughter to be roaming around in soiled diaper or soiled pants so yes you will have to have to have to carry two at least extra diapers uh another thing if you're i would say if your child is using uh 
cloth diaper also diaper rash cream is a must now I think there is a Himalaya one as well I haven't used that but I have used mother care that hasn't worked as well as this Chico one this is from Chico it says it is parabens free hypoallergenic it's a 100 ml one and it costs 249 rupees only this one works miracles for my son however I'd say uh, everything doesn't suit all children uniformly so try out some other brands in case this doesn't work out for your kid diaper rash every time you change your son or daughter diaper check out if there is even a small red dot or even something which might seem like a rash put on the rash cream immediately just to be safe my son has had diaper a rash twice already it's, he's almost two years and we are just trying to potty train him right now and he has had diaper rash twice but it was not touch wood it was not that bad both the times he uh, he had diarrhea so yes but this one worked fine within two days the scab formed and it peeled off automatically so he didn't even have to go to the medication touch wood so this one just worked fine a lot of mommies think that it's good to sprinkle powder on your uh, on the private parts before you put on the di diaper it uh, helps keep, keep it dry and not moist because the diaper becomes saturated with a lot of liquid and then it sticks to the uh, skin. So the skin starts becoming wrinkly and things like that. I would suggest, I have tried that too. I would suggest don't put the powder. Uh, it mixes with the water. The It mix, yeah, every time your baby pees, it mixes with that and it forms cakey kind of a thing. If you see in the joint, leg joints and everything, it forms a white cake kind of a thing of powder mixed with water. And it's not a good thing. I don't feel it's a good thing because every time I try to pull it off, your baby skin, it's so soft. It starts gradually peeling off and I was not at all comfortable. So I stopped doing that. Even for the bum, there would be cakes forming right there. And during his bath, you will have to scrub it completely off. So why do that? It doesn't serve any purpose. It does not keep it dry. Anyways, the dry diaper is super absorbent. It will not have any liquid on your baby. Uh, every time it's not possible to wash your child. Uh, every time your child poops. So yes, you'll have to carry a very good uh, baby wipe. Pack of baby wipe uh, to clean them up. Now, baby wipe, you'll get from different brands. I'm sticking to Johnson & Johnson because I find them to be much more moist than any other. Uh, they use a lot of the liquid, the soapy liquid that they have. So yes, that works uh, fine. I would say do not have soiled diapers lying around your house. It attracts insects, it attracts bacteria. And when you have a little one in your home, you would want... Uh, everything to me as sanitary as possible so dispose of soil diapers as soon as possible uh, if your child is sleeping throughout the night try and change their diapers right before they fall asleep even if you have already changed it maybe a couple of hours back and it does not seem as soiled or as heavy i'd say please change the diapers right before they fall asleep so that you don't have to disturb them Next time you change the diaper is right early in the morning when they wake up to be fed. You can change the diaper then again. Uh, and yes, that's more or less it. That's as for my experience. If you want to add on anything, please mention in the comments. If you have any more questions for me, again, please mention it in the comments. I'll be happy to address it. I hope what I discussed was helpful, helpful for you. So... In case you want to know more, if you have more questions, please feel free to uh, leave comments down below. And if you want to be notified about my further vlogs, because I plan to have uh, different vlogs on different topics. The toys they, um, my child loves, 
the toiletries which have worked very well with him. Uh, I also plan to sit with my child's pediatrician and ask him a few questions which are, we have, the common questions we have as mommies and I like to uh, have plans of publishing that as well. So if you have any such question which, which you want to get answered, please uh, mention it down below. The time I make that video, I'll surely try to address that question with him. And as of now, see you later. See you sometime next week when I'll be publishing my next video. Thank you so much for